Hello. Natasha be here. So today we got this painting. What is this painting? This painting is one of my older ones. It was an experiment, you could say, but overall doesn't look that great. It's just kind of washed out and I want to do a better one. So some of you may have some of these paintings yourself and you're wondering, wow, what can I do with that? Should I throw it away? Should I keep it? Should I give it away to that person I don't really like? Well, you could do all of those or you could just paint over it. So I want to do that today and let's get to it. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna get our pour cup and we're gonna pour. So this is gonna be a pretty standard pour. Um, I'm gonna use red, yellow, and blue and add some white in there. And yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the red. Okay. We're gonna do little amounts today. I wanna get a lot, of, a lot of mixing going. Okay, blue, blue and red mix the purple. I want a little bit more red on top of that. And then we're gonna hit the red with the yellow. And then we're gonna do white after the yellow. Hopefully get kind of a sunburst effect. Which may be cool. Okay, boom. And more blue. Let's get some yellow in the blue. And make green. We'll get some red all across the top. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of uh, mixing them aggressively. So this is just gonna kind of mix your paints in the cup and that overall is gonna give you a more mixed color and just overall more colorful painting. Because if you study or look at a color wheel, I should say, you'll notice that when you combine, say, red and blue, you get purple. So by doing it aggressively, you're just increasing that amount of paint mixing. And then, Otherwise, we're just kind of going at it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. And if we need more, we're just going to mix Okay, okay, we'll put a yellow on that side, which is all right. Now what I'm going to do is make a line here. back to the middle. La la. And the actual, you know, previously painting pictures, or sorry, previously painted pictures, let's go. Uh, you know, you don't really need a base coat with them. The, the paint's kind of slick and you don't have the rough camera surface, so it's kind of a... Uh, Start off by spinning it a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So I'm catching colors right there. So I will, you know, waste less paint. Let's go straight to the other side. And you know, the order you stretch definitely matters. Um, that'll dictate kind of the overall feel of your painting, I guess. Because you can go kind of in a, you know, corner to corner, diagonal, all that stuff. It's all gonna change how it comes out, but you can pretty consistently just do this, you know, to one side, go across, bring back the middle, and then go back over. Okay. 
So now also, you know, I'm not really a big fan of this yellow, so it's gonna help this out a little bit. You know, the previous picture kind of maybe a little more forgiving, right? Because you have the background there, so it's not just totally empty. It's kind of cool. And here, you know, it's a pretty good looking spot. It's like a giant caterpillar right now. Yeah, I'm definitely running low on paint, so I get this long drip right here. See, I may I may have mixed a little too hard in some spots. You can see the, uh, you know, kind of the neutral and the green coming out, and that's just the result of, you know, mixing all the colors together. But then again, you have these really cool sections here, which is a nice like magenta purplish color. Okay, so we're just trying to keep as much pain as possible right now. Okay, now we're gonna use that little well of paint we had. Try and finish out this corner. I'm just bringing it back to the middle. I always want to center it. At least try to. Sometimes it's not possible. And then, you know, the more you stretch it, the more you're going to bring out certain sections. So this yellow is really coming out right now. I didn't like it at first, but man, it's looking good now. Okay. Go this way a little bit. Guys, I hope you like this one. And remember, old canvases, just paint over those things. There's no need. If you don't like it, just redo it. All right, have a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I hope you do your own cool floor paintings. Comment below what you see. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.